like right there right now. I'm gonna wait a sec. I heard her. For sure, Lou. I'll talk to you later, buddy. So she doesn't, obviously she doesn't come in here because she can't. But I think I can stay in this dark area right about here and be okay. And if not, then I got a flashbang and two invis potions. Yeah, so you you have there's a key there, and you have to drop like a. Uh, that's why I got the cheap flute, the fake horn, and all that crap, so I can drop one of those down. Uh, I'm actually gonna try to not. I don't know. Let's. Let's just if I do this. I don't think I can do this, because there's shit up top I have to grab. And I have to make a bunch of noise. I'll knock her out. I'll knock these two guards out. It's going to be way too hard. Like, I, I think it's possible, but it's just... There's certain things you have to do on this level that it's just... It's extremely hard. And I'm not trying to make it extremely hard myself. I mean, it's possible to do it, but... I don't know. There's two guards in here, by the way. I'll leave her there. She's the only one that pass here. I don't know where the other guy is, to be honest. Oh, yeah, and I can't actually... Shit. I actually have to go back the way I came. Fuck. I just thought about that. I have to come back here later, I guess. Yeah, I have to come back here later. Please don't fuck up this rope arrow. Nice. Because even to grab that rope arrow right now, I have to do this. So as you can see, I'm going to wait for him to leave. So as you can see, if she was here and I did that and like landed on here, even if I grabbed the rope arrow, it would still make a decent amount of noise. I don't know where this guy's at. Really hope he doesn't path over here. If he does, I have to knock him out. There he is. Oh, there's two of them. No, that's good. She's she's fine there. I think she's fine. I want to make sure they're out of the room. Glad I got to see my... Oh, shit. Yeah, this... Whatever I have right now is just for backup. It'll be fun to play the second mission because that way it's all new to me. This is mostly not new. So I'm going to wait there for them to leave the room. Those are the two guys that path the main hallway, actually. And there's a book over there I need to read, too. But there's an alarm I have to turn off before I get over there because it's going to make a loud alarming sound. I want to wait for that door to close. They're by it right now. I should be okay. There they are. So if I would have done that, she would have hurt me. And so that's why I had to knock her out. There's certain things that are just going to make this game way too hard. Um, I'm not going to say it's impossible, but I would say there's a lot of things that are going to be extremely difficult to do. So I literally have to go back the same way I came. Which isn't extremely bad, because I already knocked everybody out. I gotta figure out where all the shit is. Okay, we're fine. I'm gonna go other uh, this other way now. Yeah, this is a pretty big mission. If you include everything that's in it. Um, yeah, it's actually fairly big. 
the mansion itself is pretty big, but there's definitely there's more to it. I think I already have a highlight of this, but like I said, it was the unfinished version. So I'm actually kind of excited to finish the finished version of this. So it's already a lot better than it was because there's a lot more that's actually added in. Like I said, to um, there should be at least three more rooms that I haven't seen at the very minimum, and there should be more loot. And there's actually more tips and hints on to where the stuff's at instead of guessing, oh, look, here's a trap, let me die, and then save state, and then, look, I now I know where that trap is. I think there's only one trap that I've seen so far where I haven't read a readable of the dangers of it. I th No, two of them, I'm sorry. Alright, so I gotta back the way I came, which is this way. The two were um, that zombie trap I was talking about, and then the other one was actually right by the library, which we have not been over. Well, no, we haven't been to the front of the library. We're in it, but not. Did I knock her out? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I definitely knocked her out. Really hoping those guys didn't hear me. You'd be fucking surprised on what these guards would hear sometimes. So she actually got unstuck. Um, so... If she gets stuck again, great. I don't know how she gets unstuck. But I needed her to get stuck again. As you can see, if you're crouched, you can't lean over as much if you're uncrouched. Which is kind of funny. Kind of nice. She's not gonna... Okay, she got stuck. We're fine. So if she doesn't get uns- if she get- I'd have to knock her out if she wasn't stuck. But now that she's stuck, we're okay. I gotta go very slow in here. And doing it this way, um, I'm very confident in saying that you will not be able to hunt- you will not be able to 100% this with loot or secrets. If you, um, if you're trying to ghost, or any form of wage, shit. Okay, well, I have to knock this guy out. There's no way around that. If I didn't knock him out, um, things would have turned out bad. How did she see me? She didn't see me before, that's fine. I'll use my flashbang, I guess. I'll leave his body in here. If she comes after me. I'm gonna have to knock her. Now I'm gonna have to knock her out. It kind of does. The front of it kind of does look like the Chirp Mansion. I feel like the front of it is like a... I don't want to say a better version of Chirp's Mansion, but it's a little bit larger, and it's a little bit nicer. Um, Chirp's Mansion was definitely a little bit smaller. Uh, the front part of it. This is, I feel like it's definitely all of this. Is, I'm going to do this real quick. Because if she sees me, if I'm out like that, and she's alerted, she'll see me regardless. But if I'm down here, she'll start investigating pretty soon. So I'm going to wait here until I can knock her out or do whatever I need to do. Actually, it might be about the same. I feel, I don't know, maybe I feel like this, I feel like this is larger. I don't know why, maybe it's just like... Maybe the bottom's larger, or maybe it's just like th there's more room up top. I think maybe in Church Mansion there's enough space up top. It just looks a little bit larger. I don't know why. George! Shit! I gotta wait for that guy to go back inside. she keeps seeing me she's like st 
That's like the dumbest guard I've ever seen. It's like she wants to do work, but she doesn't. I'm not even quite sure what I should do right now. I feel like if I leave, there's going to be a whole heap of a mess. Because she'll get unstuck, and then she'll... You know what? Let's just let's just leave and save here and see what happens. Oh yeah, I got. Oh, I can't leave. I gotta go through there. Charge! You don't look so tough. don't like using my flash bombs like that but I have two invis potions so it's not extremely bad I'm leaving that door open apparently I can make noise there um so I got some bad news that guy is is <laughs> he's gonna see me if I go to try to do the alarm so I have to knock him out too I've done that before I've tried doing it. That the guard I knocked out right here actually is over there. That guard I can let's just try doing this real quick. Safe state in. And he's one of those guards with the fucking sword bullshit, so I don't have to deal with his ass. Alright, so let's do this real quick. So the code is... Where is it? It's in the note. Yeah, the guard's, the guard's not the smartest thing. I don't know why they hired her. She's like literally getting caught up on random shit. Before there was one guard killing... There's one guard that killed six guards that they were sparring. I don't know whose mansion this is, but the guards they hired are just... Yeah, they're not bright at all. That one guard was just like, well, I see him, but I'm kind of scared. So I'm just going to stay here and pretend like I'm caught up on something or whatever. I don't know. It's so ridiculous. All right, so it's 625. So I already know what this is. Um, before, I thought it was like it was like a, a fraction because that's what I thought it was, a fraction, right? And I thought it was like one – I think it was like 181. But what it is, it's actually a square root, which I didn't know about. So um, 625 – it's 25 times 25, so that's 25 for the square root of this. And then for this, I think it was 225, if I remember correctly. So this is 5, and this is 15. Uh, I would have never gotten this myself for so many reasons. Uh, the fact that I thought it was a fraction, mm. um... I think it would have taken me a while to do it myself. Plus, I didn't know you can do 05 or whatever. I didn't wasn't thinking about that at all. But it's 0515 is what it is. All right. But as you see right now, that guard is kind of looking over this way. So in order for me to actually get over there, I'm going to have to knock him out. And I'm going to get my uh, invis potion up just in case. It's okay. I'd rather miss and not be seen. <clears throat> it's okay if I miss, and as long as I'm not smacking anything or I'm not being seen. He's so close, dude. That's what I thought. Okay. But yeah, there's no way uh, he would have saw me. I put his body over. In this little corner, there's no one else that comes in here. But yeah, he would have seen me if I would have uh, gone for gone for that. There's nothing over here, right? Is that a spice bag? Shit. Go. Safe state. So now we go over here. See, the problem with this is, is you have to get right up on this because you can't just. See how you, like you're up here, and you can't 
actually do anything with this. That guy was right there. He would have easily saw me. So I have to, like, actually go in. Just like that. To actually do that. So now we've gotten... Broke in, code number, control room cameras off. Now we need to get the loot and get the fuck out of here. Wait, loot and... Yeah, get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> Alright, now that we've gotten that done, did I grab anything of importance? I've grabbed... A silver cog. <clears throat> Silver Cog is... That's the library, actually. We'll take the long route to the library. I can leave all this shit open now. All the cameras are turned off. So I'm okay there. I can make some noise. I can make some noise down here. There's still a guard over there. I've knocked all the- I'm gonna wait till that guard goes by, actually, because I want to grab some coins in here. <gasps> I don't know if there's anything down here, if it's all in here. Oh, there's a lot of them in there. There's a guard up there too, so I gotta be very cautious. I don't know if I should do it or not. I just don't know how else I can get in there without... Because there's some of them that are really close. here. So he goes by. There we go. I'd be, I gotta fucking get out of here now. Yeah, the only problem is... No, but seriously though, you need a lot of invis potions and moss arrows to be honest too to try to even ghost this. I'm kind of glad there's levels that you can't ghost because it... Hold on. I made noise. It gives a new aspect to the game if you can make it hard enough to where you can't ghost it. Where you have to actually knock out guards. Okay, we're good. It just... There's a bunch of different ways you can play Thief 2. I uh, just puzzle, you can play it more ghosty style. If it's this hard, you can kind of do what I'm doing and have to knock people out. Um, save state. So I gotta go around, because there's two guards, and I'm... Actually, you can hear me right now. They're in here. Okay, let's... let's see if I can <gasps> not... Okay, they're about to go outside in a sec. Those are the two guards at path in the front. Before I even think about... I can actually do this. Normally that does not happen. I'm going to turn this up a tiny bit. I don't know why the audio is... Wow, that's really low. Why is it so far down? Okay, sorry about the... Sorry about the game sound being really low. Okay, both of them are out of here right now. I don't know if this alarm's gonna go off or not. Honestly, I don't know how to avoid that, so let's just... I should have safe stated, but I don't want these guards coming after me. It's the only safe state I've done, and that was a mistake. I could have easily taken them out. So what is this? The gearbox now works. Because it's an old version, I cannot quite fix it correctly. If thou desire to open this doorway, thou must first insert that gear, and then move the door 
the little door cover down and back up to expose the button just to push the button or then push the button the door will stay open for only for long didn't actually happen in the unfinished version. If I have to use an invis push and I have to use it, it's fine. I'm not sure why this is happening right now. I might have to use it in invis push. Yeah, I don't know what's going on right now, to be honest. These guys might spot me. I mean, it says, insert the gear, move the little door cover down and back up. Move it down and back up to expose the, bush, the button. So I moved it down, now I move it back up, but the button's still not. In the unfinished version, the button would slide down from the upper part. Great. Well, I, my save state was fucking useless and I'm fucking retarded for making it because I might actually have to knock both these guards out anyways. I really hope they don't get this close to me. I see you there. Hold it right where you That sounded funny. I couldn't do anything about it. Uh, that's not my fault. That's the game not working properly. Okay, so as you can see, the button is not... Okay, that was less than... Wow. I don't think I have to knock her out, what does this say? Artist Sean M.D. Morin, date September 23rd, 2002. If anyone uses this picture, give me credit. That's crazy. Was this, was this made in 2002 then? I think I can leave her. I'm pretty sure I can leave her the way she is. Hey, yeah, there's a doggo. That's a good picture. I want that in my mansion. Oh, there's a guard over here. That's not good. In memory of Christine the Third for her brilliance and magic and talent. So this actually was not here before. I heard something. This was an empty room before, with nothing. <coughs> Um I don't think there's anything here. <clears throat> but do I want to knock him out and try to find out? I mean, why not at this point? The only reason I'm doing that is cuz I want to make sure I can get on the head. Now we gotta really thoroughly search this place. I don't think there's anything here besides just that. Sorry, right. it's not like it's I haven't knocked people out in this fucking mission. No. Here. No, almost. Almost. Wait. There we go, now he's taking a nap. I don't think there's anything here. I'm not trying to go too far because those robots will definitely see me. We're fine. There should be a button over here. There it is. How the fuck am I even supposed to... Hear a guard. Oh yeah, that's right. I know where that guard is. Uh, this panel right here, by the way, is the fake one. You can actually see the discoloring on it. And then you can. Uh, 
obviously see it fall. I still have to go to the basement, I think. I'm not 100% sure. There's something, there's some stuff down there. I'm not sure if I actually need it or not. Alright, so I don't know why the library alarm is not tied in with the actual alarms. And I... I made, uh, well, I didn't make a mistake. I just assumed, I guess. Um, we need to go to the other place. So, there's actually everybody's dead here. Let's just do this. Let's read this fucking book. Day 5. After being in this library for a few days, I started to notice that there was an unusual draft, even though all the doors are closed. I just don't understand it one bit. At first, I thought it was coming from the ceiling, but there's no openings to be seen. This was very puzzling. I wonder where the draft is coming from. Day 6. I just got word from one of the servants that there are secret passages within these very walls. That explains the unusual draft unusual, yeah, unusual draft here. I'll have to try to look for such passages tomorrow. Due to several errands I must attend tonight. I hope I'll discover a few of them. So that that um, tells us right there that there's a secret in the library, which we've already found with that rope arrow. As, as I was searching around for the secret passage, Captain, uh, Captain Richard, I just call him Dick. He, 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 he. God damn it. Gave me a few smarts in the rear. He told me to quit snooping around the library or he will add a grave for my body. I'm still very curious about all the secrets within this place. But Dick now has minions watching me. If only I would have searched around yesterday, I might have found at least one secret passage to unknown places. Okay, and I'm just gonna go out this way. Maybe I'll stop in for a little light reading. If don't open that door. That door that's the only door, so there's two... That's one of the trap doors. I'm pretty sure it's a trap door. I'm not even going to try to open it. Fuck it. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that's the one that explodes on you. So there's two There's two things. Alright, what am I doing right now? I gotta go this other way. I could go downstairs. I won't just yet. There's a guard down that way. I have one invisibility potion left, so I gotta be careful. Because that's gonna be my last resort. He should be coming. Where is he? Shit, 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 shit. I didn't know, I didn't know there was two of them. There are a tremendous... He's definitely coming this way. Yeah, he's coming this way. There are, uh... I mean, a normal... Hey, there's just a large amount of guards in this mission. I mean... He's walking kind of fast, which... That scares me. I don't know if he actually comes in here, but I'm just gonna stay here for a sec. Um, I mean, there's what? There's... I want to say... Just guards alone. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. I'm trying to think about how many guards there are right now. There is one when I got in up there. There is the one that got stuck. There's four I knocked out over here. There's one near the balcony. It's six. Uh, it's eight. There's ten. One near one who's sleeping. One near the balcony. There's the robot. There's like f five, six, there's no, there's like eight robots. Well, we'll worry about those later. Um, and then there's, what other guards are there? There's... The six I counted were in that in the sparring room. So that's ten there, plus the robot, plus one more that's pathing near the, the guard that killed all those other guys. So that's eleven... Go downstairs, the two bowmen, that's 13. There's this guy here, that's 14, 15. There's easily at least 20, maybe 30 guards in this mission. I would say anywhere from 20, probably 25 to 30 guards is what I would, I would go with. I don't think this guard really comes... I don't know where he goes. He doesn't come down this way, that's for sure. Oh, he just goes down then over that way. Alright. There he is. Hmm? Hello? I don't... 
See, the problem is I don't know if I can knock. Nothing. I'm too tense. I don't know if I if I can knock him out because of the path thing. I mean, I'm sorry. If I, I don't know if I can not knock him out. So if I if I can let him just path normally, I don't know if I can do that. Seems peaceful enough now. What do I see there? Just the wind, I guess. I feel like I'm gonna have to knock him out. I feel like I'm gonna have to knock him out. I, at least one of them. I mean, I don't know if I can get by him. I mean, they're pathing. Oh, perfect. Let's try to not knock these guards out. Try to go past just past them, I guess. Normally, I thought there was more gold in here. Maybe I was wrong. I gotta leave that door open. Oh, shit, he's coming. I gotta pay attention when those doors open and how far the guards are because. He actually comes down here, doesn't he? I'll steal his purse real quick. Shit, this me. Mm -hmm. What was that? Fuck, dude. That was scary. Well, I stopped there. Guess it was nothing. This is like my safe little area right now. <laughs> it's confused the hell out of me the first time because that door handle was not moving at all. I was like, why is it not moving? Is this even working? So I'm gonna go slow. Oh, oh, there was gold behind here, wasn't there? All right. So I might actually have to knock out these guards, and we're gonna see. You'll see why in a second. I have to shoot fire arrows into this place to progress with the mission. Swordsman. Come on, where are you? I know you're coming my way. Hmm. Strange oh, noises. I heard something. Okay. He's calm enough now. There's nothing there. Both went through the door. Uh, la, 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 la. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make a button of noise blasting open the secret, and I'm pretty sure I have to knock these guards out. You know what? Screw it. Let's try to do it without it, and if I have to, I'll just use a fucking invis bush or something. I don't know. It's fine. There's a ring on the table, and there's like, oh, there's a bottle of wine in the fucking bathroom. Someone's an alcoholic. I remember in one fan mission, I saw a bottle of wine in a crib. I forgot what mission, what mission that was. That was funny. Go, 
go, go, go. I need to be here. This is closer to the door that I need to be in. I'm not sure if I can do this. <coughs> even close to it, but that's okay. So what was weird is the actual bowman saw me before the... I don't know how the bowman saw me at all. Come on, hey, on hey. Yeah, I don't know how he heard me. That's weird. There's no way he should have seen me before the other guy. Is your last chance. Step out here. I won't hurt. Oh, fuck it. Honestly, I don't think I could have done it because this is how much noise this next part makes. I'll show you how much fucking noise it makes. That's how much noise it makes. It makes so much fucking noise that all the gold gets fucking blown off. Not only does not all the, all the gold get blown off, but the robots get alerted. So I don't think there's a possible way of doing that without knocking. You can probably knock one of the guards out and be okay. But knocking both of them out, I mean, uh, not knocking any of them out is too hard. Yet. How did this guy not hear? Alright, so, he's facing the other way, which is fine. There's not really anything in here of importance that I remember. Oh yeah, they see me. Alright, so, day five, ah, oh, mutton. I'm sick and tired of these gutless people that Captain Richard decides to let in this estate. Also, I hate the layout of this place, it's too big. It's so big that if you went to sleep for a while, and then get up. There will be people inside that you have never seen before. At least the captain has good taste for women. That Christine girl is quite a looker. It's said that uh, her family had a special sword that is, has great power. If it's anything like uh, her hired guards, I would like to get my hands on it. Day 6. So far things are good. Everything seems very calm. Well, except for all that thumping and clanging from those metal buckets of bolts. But at least it's quite enough to study in my room, new room. I don't know how he didn't hear that fucking loud ass fucking fire arrow. What's really strange is that I can sometimes hear whispers in the dining room, but there's nobody around. At first I thought it was just my ears, but one of the servants said that they heard the voices as well. So I started searching around a bit and noticed that it was coming from the, one of the walls in the other room. I was going to take a better look. Uh, I was going to take a better look at this wall, but I'd do some unfinished business. So look into it this tomorrow. But he has unfinished business to do before they look into stuff. Like the, the secret for the library, that was unfinished business too. Day 7. At first I thought the wall seemed normal, but then I noticed something rather odd. It looks as the wall, though as the wall was put here recently, the, wall paper, the wallpaper looks a little fresher than that of the other walls. Although it sounds hollow, the wall is very stable and very strong. I can attest to this because I used my sword on it with all my might, but it was, no, it was to no avail. In fact, the efforts cost me a whole new sword. I wonder... Uh, how you would get in that room. Day 8. Last page, by the way. It looks like I'm going to need a report to Captain Richard that the snooper in the library has overstayed his welcome for the last time. He looks as though he is trying to steal some of Captain Richard's personal books again. If I was doing the same thing, I would be already dead, and I'm his close friend. Although I think Captain Richard is a little strict about this house and his belongings within, he should get some of the taffers out of here at once. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna let him live because I don't think there's anything else over here. I'm just gonna go in here. So those guys obviously heard me. Um, I got all the gold there. What's that? Did you say something? 
me. Actually, I think I can do this legitly. That's strange. Nothing. I could have sworn something was there. <clears throat> I'm like literally stealing apples and fucking food in front of her face. There's nothing over <clears throat> there, but there's actually loot over here. I know that for a fact. Come on. There we go. Dear Link for the win. Give me that last HP. <clears throat> I know there's a fucking... There's a dish in there, I'm pretty sure. Maybe there's not. <clears throat> there's not really any way to find out but besides knocking them out. <coughs> Unless there's... Oh, hold on. There's lights here. Maybe we can. Let's turn off the lights. That's fucking beautiful. That doesn't help at all. Fuck it, dude. I'll come back here if I don't have enough loot. Very dangerous. Good thing I know better. Exactly. Alright, so. This took me. Actually, I had to look this up because I didn't know where it was, but. Let's go through the rest of this real quick and then. Come back here, I guess. There's a ghost that kind of passed. I don't know where the fuck you pass. Oh, he's stationary. Good. That actually makes this a lot easier. I want him to look the other way, though. Okay. Let's go this way. Basement area. It's not really big. It's like a fucking second night. God damn it, dude. How am I supposed to get by this guy without him fucking. Like, really, though, how am I supposed to get by him? He's like looking my way the whole time. I can just fucking try to sneak by him and see that. Why is he looking my way the whole fucking time? That's so weird because when I was in the other spot, he was looking that way. everything made of fucking marble. He's looking wherever I am. That's fucking weird. He literally is looking wherever I'm looking. Wherever I am, sorry. Okay, I don't know. I'll stay here. This door has not opened, so there's nothing that passed in here. Where is he path? Oh, he just goes back and forth. She goes back and forth too. I wait for her to do another pathing before I actually try to do anything crazy. That's a light. There's no way now. Alright, 
think I should be okay here. No, I need to wait for her. Shit. I need to go back that way. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't go through there fast enough. Honestly, I'm not sure how you're supposed to go through there with the books flying at like 50,000 miles an hour, to be honest. And she saw me. Let's just go up here. Back downstairs. We'll go back downstairs. Using the force. Um, bad news, unless this, I have to kill her too. What? I don't think I can actually do this without. I'm almost positive. That light is too fluctuating. I got really lucky right there. Alright, there's a book downstairs I didn't read. Let's read Sir. So there's one I didn't. Oh, there's blood. Nice. This is the long. Day six. Well, it's time to gather my troops and mages to explore throughout the catacombs. I want to be sure the whole layout of this estate. Uh, now that I've uh, been living here for one and a half score and seven years. Although my wife, Christine III, keeps telling me that I shan't worry about the catacombs, I believe that it is necessary to venture in this wonder. It's day 7. This place is amazing. I wonder how con uh, who constructed this eerie place. My low troops and mages are starting to become very worried. They said that they can hear strange voices within the walls. When I came to aid my troops, I noticed that the air had an unusual scent. <laughs> my head started to hurt, but I think it's because I'm descending to lower terrain. Day eight. My head is still hurting. Although I can hear these voices, there is really not a thing to be uh, said about this place. The only strange thing about these voices is that it seems to tell me something, but I can't make it out. The more I hear voices, the more my head starts to hurt. Maybe it would be best to rest from my mission for a while. Day nine. They all. They are all watching me. I must kill them all. I can't trust no one. The only one may trust is my wife. The only one may trust is my wife. She. Will only be spared because of her magic. Then I will kill her. Mark my words, they will all die. That escalated pretty quickly. Day 11. I can't believe what I was doing yesterday. Thanks to my wife, my love, she has vanquished the evil that has entered inside me. Although Kirmi was very thoughtful, the way she did it was fatal for all uh, for us all. Uh, with that particular spell she used, she unlocked a seal that was within the catacombs. This is no good at all. Day 12. It seems that everyone within the library is starting to act very strangely. Some of them are speaking in unknown tongues. Um... The voice from the catacombs of unknown tongues. I think it meant tongues. The voice from the catacombs are getting louder. I don't like this one bit. Day 13. The pain in my head has come back in double. The voices of the catacombs are now becoming unavoidable. It is becoming hypnotic. I feel, uh, I feel that, felt, I feel that I need to listen and obey. My resistance is shrinking to nothing. Uh, and then day 14 is backwards. It looks like. Call for us in the catacombs. The spirits, I fear nothing. My love for Christine the Third, I will vanquish all that oppose. Sign Sir Frederick. So that's all backwards then. Okay. 
I can... <laughs> Let's just pretend that didn't happen, please. Uh, I, f I just... I wasn't paying attention. It's okay. I don't know if there's any... Um, I don't know how she sees me. That's weird. There's no way she should have seen me. Oh, yeah, there's a, I forgot about there's a chest over there. This is a happy accident. So I, I think I did have to knock her out or kill her or something because there's... Yeah, there's something had to have happened. It's fine. I'm trying not to, but you know what? Fuck it at this point. She wants to she wants to go looking for trouble. You know what she got? She's gonna get fucking trouble. I know she didn't see me. Let's grab what's over here first. Oh yeah, she she came looking for trouble, she's gonna find it. She's gonna get an ass whooping. <gasps> This ghost, this undead, I guess it's a ghost, not really, I guess it's undead, undead ghost. She's gonna die a second time. Um, holy water, nice. Let's so we can drop down without dying. Wow, actually, that was pretty impressive. She get away from me. She's back on her normal path thing. Maybe I don't have to actually... Yeah, she sees me now. Uh, chain stun, chain stun, chain stun. The small one's chain stunner. Of course, the large ones are going to be. I think we're dead, and she's dead. It's alright. It's had to happen. I'm trying my hardest not to do what I can to to do that, but realistically, I feel like even with the two guards by the secret that I had to come down here, I had to have at least knocked the bowman out. I wasn't trying to knock the swordsman out, but he kind of investigated before I could do anything, so... So, holy fuck. Day 9. I was hoping that my love would be revived three days back, but as if the devil possessed him. So this is um, the Christian the Third's journal then. But as if the devil possessed him, he was acting as a mad, uh, as a madman, thrashing his subjects. His condition started ever since he and his allied troops and mages entered that godforsaken catacombs ten days back. There's got to be a way to revive him, only if I could use my magic to revive his soul. Day 10. Looking through every, every blasted spell book within these useful libraries, that well, th within this useful library, I finally discovered the spell that will save my one and only true love before his mind is no more. Although there is, uh, there are cautions about using this very spell, I'm not yet going to give up on my love. His condition is getting gravely worse. Day 11. The spell was a complete success. My husband's mind is now back to what it once was before. I love him so. I told him how I used his spell to cure his soul. But right after he listened to me, his face began to grow cold. He looked very ill. He told me that I should have killed him instead. Why would have, uh, he tell me of such things? I wanted to save his soul and be with him forever. Day 12. Now that I know my, uh, why my love said such a ghastly thing to me the other day, it turns out that I will uh, get to have my wish. The bad thing is, according to the spell book, that both of our souls will remain in this house forever. I'm very sorry for this to happen. The only way for our souls to, be, to rest is to be purified by holy water. How can we get a hold of this water now that we have never, uh, that we can never leave this place? Day 13. My head is stra uh, starting to hurt immensely. Also, my husband is acting differently. In a way, what he is doing seems the right thing to do. What's happening to us? And then backwards again. Day 14. The spirits call for us in the catacombs. I fear nothing. My love will be forever. Who sh... Is that... I think it's who shall, who shall ever interfere will be slain. Signed, Christina Thirteen.
Alright, so... I don't know if I... Let's try this. Let's try this. Nope. Okay, just making sure. It's okay. I haven't used a whole lot of save stages I'm proud of. That one was a testing one. Okay, I know there's a lot more bad shit around here. I think down here there's like a... There's an... Un there's like an undead and like a ghost arguing. It looks like they're arguing over some bullshit. Wait for this guy to go back. So, when you see bookcases... When I see bookcases, the first thing I think of is secrets, and I was right. But I looked for... Oh boy, I don't know how long I looked for before I actually found it. And it was uh, pretty rough, actually. <laughs> yep, that's... I don't like that part. The books are going way too fast, and it's... The randomness, the randomness of it is kind of bullshit, to be honest. a book you frog and there's one up here I would have never found that oh well, I would have taken a long time to find that myself to be honest with that. we're actually gonna just do this and hopefully he doesn't come after us uh, which he actually might I should be careful in here I'm gonna there are state. likely a few traps around I know some of the stuff that's down here but I don't know all the stuff that's down here so which path will I choose without Take the short wide path, be on the left, or the long narrow path, be on the right, choose wisely. So I already know to go this way, because the other side is, this side's a trap, don't go in here, it's, you'll literally die if you go that route. Actually, if I use my speed potion, I might not be able to die, but I'm not going to try it. Uh, so there's actually more stuff in here than before. Before, uh, on the unfinished version, there was less stuff. Like, zombie. There was- those zombies weren't there. So that was his first warning or alert that he just did. And there should be two more... Guys... I don't know where these guys are pathing. I just want a little bit of a dark space. So. Using two water arrows is extremely bad. Sort of safe state here. Uh, don't go in there, you'll die. The, the ceiling comes crashing down on you and you get smashed into like a little. You know, made into like a or something. I think that was all the gold that was here. Which puts me over the amount, which is good. So this actually is an optional quest, I guess, which I don't need to do. So let's see if we can try to do it. It's a bonus one, I think, because the bonus ones are optional, come up later. Bonus ones don't come up at all. Okay, and this is actually, this is different. When you came down here last time, there was like a bunch of like uh, teleport stuff. What? So I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing here, but I'm going to just kill that zombie because maybe, yeah. Alright, those guys are definitely on me. So I don't know exactly, is it more zombies? That's fantastic. I did that because I don't know this next part, and I all I know is there's a puzzle here. I didn't look it up because I this is like one of the few parts I don't know, and I'd rather try to figure it out myself. The rest of everything else I mostly knew. There's very few parts I did not know. The rest of this. That guy doesn't look happy. Uh, 
that that's not even a clue, by the way. That doesn't make any sense to me, but... Um, let's try to figure it out, I guess. What is that supposed to mean? Yeah, the ghost... The noises they make are just kind of creepy as it is, but yeah, the ghosts are kind of creepy. They're kind of spooky. These guys are spooky. The ghosts are kind of spooky. The undead I find scarier than the ghost. I'm not even sure what this is supposed to mean, by the way. I have my invis potion in case things go bad. I have to go in here. So I'm not sure if it means I have to blow up these certain torches, or if I have to kill these guys. I don't know. Let's try. Can I knock these guys out anyway? <laughs> no, I can't even touch them. I don't know. I have eight water arrows. 